Hey tubers, Bart 49ers Corner coming at you with the weekly mail day. Uh, I got some good stuff for you, nothing too crazy I guess, but some neat stuff. Different background, had the birthday this past week, this is what I asked for from the wife. Unfortunately the company sent the wrong one, I still put it up on the wall, and then, but then I figured it out. Because uh, I put the top row in, it's like oh, okay cool, it fits. And then all of a sudden I tried the next rows and it didn't fit. So they sent me a monster one that is for raw cards. For whatever reason, the top shelf is just bigger. There's seven rows there. So they're sending the appropriate one in the mail. But still digging it. That's where it's going to end up. I don't think the other one is going to be quite as long. So it should be about that size. But pretty excited to have that one. The plan is to keep getting those and just cover the whole place basically <laughs> but um, anyway Niners win 17-16 we'll take it Gabbard had a very I would say Kaepernick-esque game but you know everybody's gonna hype him up too you know we needed the, the jump start so that's it needed to happen he needed to get benched but it wasn't necessarily for his performance real bad pick to a D lineman today that was pretty ugly but receivers didn't help at all either uh, but we'll take the win so, with the pickups, here's a cool raw one. I have yet to look up how many different ones of these, but out of 15 tops, this is the orange out of 75. Bidding on a purple one right now that's like a Toys R Us special or whatever. So, um, that'll make, if I get the purple one, that'll be four because I have the red and the basic as well. I imagine there's at least two more out there, if not three. Because if there's a Toys R Us special, that means there's a Walmart and a Target one. This could be it. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. Never seen this one before, but I love the team cards, as you can see there, top row. Um, 93 Collector's Edge picked that up. Picked a black Frank Gore rookie up. Uh, but this sucker is not in good shape. The corners aren't too bad, but obviously you can see a little bit of white, but... The bottom edge here is, is is kind of funky if you look up close to it. So we'll see. If I find a bunch of others like that for cheap, then maybe I'll, I'll snag them up and see if I do a rainbow. One rainbow I am doing. Got the Patrick Willis Refractor. So I have the X-Fractor, the Refractor, the Base, and 10. Got the blue and the white version at PSA now. Still need to find the red out of 139. There's like two listed. I think they were, I seen two on eBay, but they were both already graded BGS, um, and they want big money for them. And one of them's even in a lot that I don't need the rest of the lot of. Can't believe it took me a lot this long to get this one. It's not low pop, but 1990 Pro Set Jerry Rice still doesn't come up too often. Happy to finally snag that one. Picked up. I have one of these graded already, it's an 8, um, but always willing to try for an upgrade. And a $5.99 Donruss Elite Patrick Willis Rookie, and this sucker looks spotless, so pretty excited for that. Another Patrick Willis, an upgrade, I had a self-submitted 8 of this one. This one's a 10, pop a 5 on that. Pick this up at auction for the cheap. Kind of just put the low bids in, make sure nobody steals it. And I ended up with the steal. So I got the Darrell Revis. This sold at PWCC for like 82 bucks. This one ended the next day and I got it for less than half of that. So I was real, real happy with that. Did that with a couple of cards actually. Um, they're coming in the mail yet though. One big one. Fifty-three Bowman, Leo the Lion, Namalini. That's an upgrade. It's been on a couple of these. This is the only one I won, uh, but it was the lowest pop, so I'll take it. Pop of twelve on that. And then got this Jumbo five by seven in. Pretty cool, and it looks spotless centering and everything which is real rare for something this big now centering top to bottom may not be perfect but for a card like this 
can't complain. So if I ever get some big ones sent graded, that'll be one of them. And then the last two pieces I got here are kind of neat. I haven't never gotten any like it before. From the Tops Vaults on eBay. I got two cards. I'll just show off how they kind of came too. They come I mean they just did a really nice nice job. Come wrapped up in this in this little pouch in the plastic bag and you get your card so I got two from 1982 and this is probably arguably one of my f favorite cards of, of all time I have five of these in PSA 10 um, and I'm always like wondering whether I should keep buying some more uh, this one's the NFC Championship card so basically the Dwight Clark catch game uh, that started it all for us really uh, got the negative from the vault Comes a little hologram on the back. It gives you the number there. Sealed. Um, magnetic, if you will. And then it comes a little envelope certificate. And you just pull that out. And it says there it is. And it gives you the number that coincides with the back of your card. So that's kind of cool. So I got that one. And then I picked up the team leader one as well. And that one's got Dwight Clark and Fred Dean on the bottom there. So that's pretty neat that they're there. Uh, they listed a bunch of these. I wasn't really, it's not really PC type stuff too much. Um, so I didn't go nuts. I really wanted the NFC Championship one. I bid on a couple of others. The, the Montanas went for more, obviously. And I wasn't really overly concerned about them. So that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching. Go Niners. Have a good week.